The Blue Rose by Gerda Weissman Klein is a story about a child named Jenny. A neighbor and family friend, Jenny often came over to play with Gerda's children. One sunny 4th of July, Gerda watched as the children played in her yard and noticed that Jenny was a little different from the others. So, as Gerda sat with her coffee cup at her kitchen table, she wrote. She wrote the story of Jenny, the story of being different and at times being bullied for it. A story that Gerda understood all too well. The Blue Rose tells a tale of love and acceptance through the story of Jenny. When Gerda settled in Kenmore, New York, her neighbor, Lillian Gertzman, was quick to welcome her to the neighborhood. Gerda and Lillian became fast friends, and their children also enjoyed playing together and spending time with each other. The day Jenny was born, Lillian and her husband left their other children to stay with the Kleins while Lillian was taken to the hospital. Jenny, Rebecca, four days old. What a lucky, 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 lucky girl you are. As the years passed, it became apparent that Jenny was different from the other children. 
Gerda began to think that Jenny was in a world which we might not understand, a world which was unknown to us in some ways. Gerda wanted to give Jenny a birthday gift that 4th of July day. She wanted to find a way to show her love for Jenny, and she knew that Jenny wasn't always accepted by her peers. In writing The Blue Rose, Gerda hoped that she could teach children about love and acceptance through the story of Jenny. Gerda hoped to show that although Jenny was different, she could still do things that other children could do, even if it took more time, more effort. As Gerda observed the children playing in the yard that day, she took notice of the beautiful roses growing along the fence. She saw white roses and pink roses, yellow roses, and of course, lots of red roses. But blue? She began to think that Jenny was like a blue rose, different and unique. The Blue Rose by Gerda Weissman Klein. Jenny is a young girl, a child we love. She has brown eyes and dark brown hair. Her hair falls into her eyes. She brushes it away. But her hand is not going straight to her forehead. Instead, it curves around like a flower, first opening its petals. Then, she brushes her hair out of her eyes. She looks up at you and smiles. Her nose wrinkles, her lips curl up at the corners. Hi, hi, I'm very hi, hi, hi. Sometimes she goes into an awkward little dance. You see, Jenny is different. Different? Yes, different from most other children. But surely all people will have to be alike, think alike, act alike, or even look alike. To me, Jenny is like a blue rose. A blue rose? Have you ever seen a blue rose? There are white roses, and pink roses, and yellow roses, and of course, lots of red roses. But blue? Every garden would love to raise a blue rose. People come from near and far to see it. It is different. I'm beautiful. Jenny is different too, and so, in a way, she is like a blue rose. This is the story of Jenny. I'm Darlene. Pickering Hummert, and I'm the artistic director uh, and co-founder of Theater for Change Incorporated that's uh, based in Buffalo, New York. And um, this is our 24th year. We just had our 23rd anniversary, November 13, 2012. And um, so I went to this networking event and I met uh, Beverly Slicht uh, Cusick, who's the president of the Blue Rose Foundation. And uh, we uh, chatted, and um, she was very interested in what we do, because we use the power of theater to illustrate issues of social change in the community, in workplaces, schools. And um, so that was the beginning of a long friendship now, and uh, working with Beverly as the producer of The Blue Rose. We decided, uh, we, we had a, another couple of meetings, and her board decided that they'd like to work with us in bringing the book, The Blue Rose, to the stage. So what happened was after that, I adapted the, the book um, for seven actors. I expanded the book to include three family friends in addition to the family, Jenny being the Blue Rose. And um, we added music, singing, uh, we added movement and um, dance and a lot of fun and we also of course address the very serious issues of bullying, um, disabilities, all, uh, all kinds of different diversity. She is very troubled and puzzled and her eyes tell a story. Her eyes
and Jenny rocks in her chair. And her eyes look like stars in the twilight. Uh, my name is Duncan Latanzio. Um, I'm 17. Uh, I'm a senior in high school. Um, the Blue Rose, it's such a well-written book for one. It's just so eloquently put and spoken. Um, I think a lot of it is so, it's so deep to think, you know, it's, uh, there's more than just, you know, physical or mental, you know, per persona. Um, to, to think beyond that, to somebody who's actually a person, you know, a, a, a person with feelings and emotions, and that things like bullying and taunting about that kind of stuff, it, it hurts. And everybody feels that. And, um, I mean, I, I personally, I've been bullied in school, throughout my high school career, throughout my middle school career, and, you know, it does hurt. It, it doesn't feel good, and you, you really think, you know, for that you know, brief second there, you think, does anybody care? I mean, do, do people care? Is that why they let this, you know, this bullying go on? But honestly, there are people out there, and I think this this play really does a great job at showing that there are people who love and care for everybody. Everybody has someone that loves them, and uh, that that the bullies and the name calling, none of that matters. It it, it all of it. It's just shows the love that one person and any person can have, you know, that circle of love and support and friendship and happiness. It's just a fantastic play, a fantastic book, so. My name is Marcy Mickelson. I am the assistant stage manager. Um, I just help out with props and setting up the stage. I think this is a great project because of the, not only the message, about bullying and the message of friendship and children who are different but it's also a great book just really interesting if you look at the old book that was written in the 70s and then you look at this book and it's amazing how it's changed but yet the message stays the same but yet the child's life is so different Jenny the Jenny the real Jenny had so many different challenges to face than Kelsey does, but yet Kelsey still faces so many challenges. And that message is still relevant. Hello everyone, my name is Abby Dixon and I'm a 15 year old sophomore at Performing Arts. This is my third year in the play, The Blue Rose, and I believe that this play is a very good message, not just to youth my age, but youth all over. Um, I think this message is basically saying that we should not judge others by their own character or who they are or what they how different they are I believe that this um, this play is is a very great learning experience for me personally because um, growing up I I've had own, my own differences of my own and I know how it is to feel different and I believe that you should be treated the same. There's, there's no difference from anybody else. And working with Kelsey has been a great experience for me. And I just love all the actors, all the plays. And, and I really hope to do it again. So, yeah. And I read the book. Um, the book is very great. And if you can, I would encourage all of you to read it. It's a very great book. Um, written by a very great woman, Ms. Gerda Wise McCline. She is a Holocaust survivor, and she's just a wonderful woman and great. So I had the great fortune to meet Gerda Wise McCline myself over two years ago now, and uh, before I adapted the the, play, the uh, book for the stage, and she sat across from me and said, uh, "What are you going to do with my?" And I thought, oh, I hope she likes what I want to do with her book. And uh, so I told her my ideas, and uh, we talked and talked about it, and uh, she loved the idea, the concept. Thank you. Second. 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 Third part. You have given me the most memorable moment for my homecoming to Buffalo. 
Buffalo will always be my home. Of course, when, so to speak, the curtain fell and this incredible interpretation of a little book which I have written on my kitchen table here in Kenmore 44 years ago. She also speaks to the audience about her, her incredible life uh, as a Holocaust survivor and um, that's just an amazing life that she has led and is leading and continues to be interested in issues of social change. Jenny and I have much in common. You have heard a bit of the history of my own life. When I was being made fun of being Boston Brother, because I was different, because I was Jewish in Nazi Germany. And I remember shortly after coming to Buffalo, here and here on Elwood Avenue, a boy saying to his mother, this lady is so stupid, she doesn't even speak English. I understood what he said, but I couldn't reply. So I speak other languages. At that time, I didn't speak English. Of course, I have learned English in the interim, but I always wanted to get rid of my accent. <laughs> when I mentioned it to my beloved husband, he said, you know, if you wouldn't talk so much and listen more, you would get rid of your accent. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, that didn't happen. When I grew up, it was about actually hands-on bullying and we were scared of people because they actually bullied us. They pushed us around, they hit us, they hurt us. And there was groups, gangs that went around. Uh, but now the bullying seems to be more of a verbal thing, more of a psychological bullying situation. That seems to be the way it's heading and the way it's been. And in a way that can be just as painful and it's had a lot of disastrous consequences as well, which is, you know, it's hard to see. And I think this is a good play because it is certainly uh, brings that to the forefront uh, and hopefully will address some issues for the people that are watching. And I think really the message that I think this group is sending is that no matter who you are and no matter how different you are, you always fit in and you always um, deserve a place and you always deserve to be recognized for who you are. For me to be a part of it is quite the honor. I mean, it's such a very big um, deal and it's all about um, compassion and equality and accepting others for their differences. Last year I wrote a song about um, fitting in and it's okay to be who you are and you may be feeling lost but um, you are always accepted in some way, shape or form. Lost in the crowd at sea of drifting I'm yelling so loud but you just won't listen Lost in the crowd No one is helping But I will go on I will stay strong You haven't seen the last of me Turn your face to the light And it will shine bright let the shadows fall past you tonight Oh no, I'll keep moving forward No longer upset, no need for regret The worst days are gone and won't come back I'm through, just keep moving forward Turn your face to shine bright that the shadows fall past you tonight oh no 
message of the play is to learn that nobody is really the same. Because if we were all the same, life on Earth wouldn't be the way it is today. So the message of the play really to me is to learn all of our differences and to celebrate it all together. I think, I think that we're doing a good thing for people who are getting bullied in schools and stuff. The book was done by Gerd Weissman Klein back in the 70s. It was written about her uh, neighbor's child, Jenny. And um, they decided to revise the book and make it more updated for these times. And they were looking for a new little girl. So um, that's how Kelsey was chosen. And uh, they chose Kelsey to actually play Jenny in the play. So she's been given some fantastic opportunities um, that a little girl with cerebral palsy you would never think would ever have these um, these chances to do something like this. My name is Linda Rose Lombardo Appleby. I, I'm very happy to be a part of Theater for Change with uh, this particular show, The Blue Rose, and talking to students about character development and being a better, productive, wonderful young person and how they can contribute to our society and community. People don't bully, don't bully anybody.
I whoops and lights are going on and off. So <laughs> that's theater. <laughs>